What's up, people? What's up, Don't let me start y'all game. What's up, what's up, what's up? How you doing? Stay up yourself with a mic. You good, you good? What's up, what's up? What's up, man? What's up, man? What's up, what's up, son? Yeah, man, you know what's up, man? What's up, what's up, son? Now, what on God's green earth gave Martell the impression that at that time, Mel would want to speak to his ass more or less on his filthy paws on her shoulder? What made him think that? Y'all, I don't know, but let's get into this. Like the video, share the video. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and join the Tea Talk family. All right? All things on the channel are alleged, and in my opinion, they are for entertainment purposes only. Let's get into this. Now, I'm first going to acknowledge that I think Mel was being a little shady boots, and I like it because most people probably won't even pick up on it when she was like, the winning team, the winning team. Baby, she wasn't just talking about that money. Trust me, especially with tight face sitting beside her. You know, with that big old puffy ass wig on Stormy. Mm-hmm. That was subliminals. I'm telling y'all, I know it was, because I, I could see me doing it. And I think that's what Mel was doing. Yeah, she was letting Stormy know, this is the winning team, okay? You fucked up when you went to that other side. Now look at how the other side is treating you and your family. But beyond that, y'all, Martell, why the fuck you think Melody would want to talk to you at this time? Y'all know, know when this was, right? Mm-hmm. Why in the hell do you think Melody wanted to talk to you when she done found out that your your uh, baby mama come dumpster, whatever you want to call her, uh, she was in cahoots with you to uh, basically release some information on your ex-wife. So why would you think she want to talk to you again? I'm confused. I, I, I'm just really confused. I ain't no doctor, so I can't diagnose you with nothing. But baby... It's given selfish. It's given, I don't care about nobody but me. Bump how she feel. Bump that she might have some emotional feelings about what I did. I don't care. She better speak to me anyway. I'm glad she didn't speak to your dusty ass. I'm glad she didn't. But if I notice that she ain't speak to you, and the cameraman noticed that she ain't speak to you, then Tisha and Marceau know that she didn't speak to your ass either. So again, I am convinced that that is the reason why Tisha did that bullshit talking about some spades game 10 fucking years ago. Marcel, you remember you got, you got spades and spades last night? When was this, 10 years ago? Yeah. Hey, hey, Tisha, we was at Gatlinburg? Yeah. And Marcel was getting cussed out by me for playing spades. <laughs> <laughs> Who kids a fuck, Tisha? Who really cares about that old stuff? You don't want people talking about your stuff, but you always ready to talk about somebody else's stuff. When people get divorced, they get divorced. They don't get divorced so that you can bring the shit back up in their face about the good times that they used to have. That's not why they get divorced. They get divorced because the marriage ended and they don't want to talk about that shit no more. Especially when you know they don't get along. Like your friend. You know, he done had y'all go after Melly, so you know all about the fact that he don't get along. He had y'all sneaking behind Melody's back, doing whatever. So you already know. All the stuff that that girl feeling, you know a lot of it because you and your husband was involved in it. So now for you to watch her not speak to him because you know too what's going on because you were told before she was told. Hmm? I think so. I think so. But you know. What he was alleged of doing. And yet, you going to tell him he, he something about 10 years ago when he got beat in space 10 years ago. Who gives a fuck what happened in Gatlinburg 10 years ago, Tisha? We don't care. 
Okay. Where was your husband at 10 days ago? Whose sheets was he warming? Was they yours or somebody else's? That's what we'd like to know. Since you all in a business and you want to tell us all they stuff from years ago, tell us your stuff. How many times has Marceau cheated on you? How many times have you heard a story about him cheating on you? Girl, how many times have you found a, a ass pick in the phone besides that one time that he claimed it was after an interview? How damn crazy do that sound, Tisha? Hmm? See, you thought that was cute. Well, I don't think it was cute. Nope, not at all. And I'm glad Melody didn't speak to his ass. But you, little girl, that's why you got that water in your face. That's exactly why you got that water in your face. Because you do slick shit like what you did. And you think don't nobody catch up on it. But I caught it. And I'm sure more people caught it too. But that's right, Melody. Leave his dusty ass where he at. If you decide to speak to him later, you can. But I make that sucker apologize to me a hundred times over. And I sue his ass and try to put him in jail if I'm you. If I'm you, I'm still trying to put his ass in jail where he need to be at. Anytime he do some dirty, underhanded shit like he did to you, he ought be in jail. That's exactly where he ought to be. Right the fuck in jail. Mm-hmm. That's what I said. Right in jail. That's where he ought to be at. So don't take your foot off his neck. Keep your foot on his neck. Don't let him uh, slide for what he did to you, him and that buzzard, that buzzard of a bird. You make sure that they pay and then nail. She she can understand. She, you know, Mel didn't speak to Martell. She don't got to speak to Martell. You and this bullshit about they got to speak for the rest of their lives bullshit. Everybody don't speak for the rest of their lives as long as you can take care of them kids and you take care of them kids, Okay. You forgave your husband because your husband ain't do all the dirty things that Martell done done to Mel. Okay? So stop uh, comparing your marriage and her marriage together and why she don't speak versus why you didn't speak. These people got a whole divorce. You and your husband separated when he was out here getting, letting his pain be a community. Okay? So y'all decided to get back together. Now, is his a uh, pain community? I don't know. I don't follow that man. To see what he doing. You ought to know, though, because it's your husband. And Wanda said they all whores, just like Martel and Marceau. That's what she said. Now, I don't know. I wouldn't dare. I, I don't know if it's true or not. But anyway, I do know one thing. I'm glad Mel is standing up and not speaking to his dumb ass. That's all I got for this, y'all. Like the video. Share the video. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and join the T-Talk family. I'll catch y'all in the next video. T-Talk with your girl.